Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawashai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawashai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawashai, Bahasham Rachakwadash, Ko Holoyim La, Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Rachakwadash. Shalom to the Lord's elect, the 144,000 elect men. Say most high! 12,000 12, from each tribe, which consists of your so-called black men, so-called Hispanic Latino men, so-called Native American Indian, so-called Seminole Indian men, and Israelite foreigner men. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to you sincere Akim, who are laboring in the works, and Shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Akwat, which will be you brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth, listening and learning in silence as the scriptures say so. I'm your brother Manazar Gabar, out here in Pasadena, Texas. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying and playing upon the tables. A response to a topic that several brothers, several, uh, well, the elders, the apostles, the brothers has been doing a response on this, this particular video of how uh, just a typical behavior of a two-third scoffing and mocking at the warnings of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, so-called black people, right? Uh, and of course, you know, don't be surprised you got Northern Kingdom Israelites that come in the same wave, scoffing and mocking, right? Uh, the elder brother, the elder Manakazakba, GMS South Carolina 08, he titled the lesson as Black Americans openly mock the Hebrew Israelites and reject the gospel, the good news, these warnings. All right. I might title this lesson as Laugh Now, Cry Later, Bitch. All right. Two thirds and others. All right. Laugh Now, Cry Later, Bitch. All right. All right. So we'll let some of this, we're going to let this video play, this clip. Things like four minutes, uh, four minutes, 30 seconds, uh, around it somewhere, four minutes, 30 seconds long. But real quick, let me get a scripture right quick. The book of Luke, chapter six, verse 25. This is the book of Luke, chapter six. Verse 25, KJV, red lettering, the Messiah speaking here. Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who the world is still ignorantly calling Jesus Christ, Yehusha, and etc. Yahweh Shai, he delivered, he saved, he delivered the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect on this side. Woe. Woe meaning destruction. Woe unto you that are full, right? You're full. You're satisfied here in captivity. Pertain to you Israelites, for example. You're content here. You're full. You're satisfied, okay? You pretty much received your consolation, okay? Woe unto you that are full. For ye shall hunger. And that's going to literally happen to the near future. A lot of Israelites will hunger literally, physically. Starvation hunger. Right? The average person here, especially Israelites, is a, a gluttoner, greedy, unsatisfied. So the Lord is going to make you, he, he's going to starve you too. Spiritually and physically. Spiritually not receiving the same doctrine that you're laughing at. You ain't gonna receive spiritual waters, spiritual bread, 
spiritual meat, spiritual food, and literal. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Now check this out. Woe, destruction. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. So for an example, you want to see in this video, in, the, in that clip, an example of Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. You know that worldly saying, laugh now, cry later. Laugh now, cry later. What the fuck? Okay. Laugh now, cry later. Okay. Not the Wikipedia, but hold on. Laugh now, cry later. All right, so pretty much, right, there's this worldly saying called karma, right? What goes around comes around. Well, that's the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? You will be held accountable for your actions, what you said in the near future, okay? What does the saying, laugh now, cry later mean? The most common interpretation interpretation of a carefree, fatalist spirit will be enjoy life while you can. Worry about problems later. Uh, what comes to mind? Uh, YOLO. Okay, YOLO pretty much. You only live once, right? Which is, which is false because there is a such thing as reincarnation. But the point is though, right? You know, enjoy life while you can. Worry about problems later, right? So laugh now, cry later, right? So go ahead and keep on laughing, Israelites. That's laughing and scoffing at the warnings, at this place of repentance, the opportunity to, to be covered with divine intervention, divine protection, when all hell break loose. Um, <clears throat> Salakia verse 25 Woe unto you that are full For ye shall hunger Woe unto you that laugh now For ye shall mourn and weep All Right. so go ahead and keep on laughing and scoffing Making these little videos on TikTok On social media, on the internet Real soon you're going to be weeping and mourning when the Lord is not feeding you or your family, when the Lord is not delivering you from the hour of temptation, when the Lord is not delivering you from Jacob's trouble. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verses 4 through 7. Read that whole thing pertaining to both kingdoms, southern kingdom and northern kingdom. That's wicked as hell. Scoffers, mockers, rebellious, stiff hearted, stiff necked. You're going to be weeping and mourning. When the Lord is fucking your stupid ass up in Jacob's trouble. It's like men, it's like women, children, young, old. Alright. Say most high! Mount high! high. Shall we meet again, hey. brother? Do you not think that this is a divine intervention from the most high? Hey, most high. hey I just love Jesus. Holy! Hey. You glutton! You must serve the Christ Jesus. Look how big he is. Three. Hosea 4 and 6. From our people perish for a lack of knowledge. For my people perish. I got to go pick up my If you take off, brother, I will squeeze your big body through that window. Three. I don't wear a watch no more. I don't even wear a watch no more. I ain't got no time to be checking white man time. I'm on divine time. I don't even wear a watch no more. I don't wear a watch no more. I don't even wear a watch no more. I ain't got no time to be checking white man time. I'm on divine time. I don't even wear a watch no more. Law! 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 Old Testament, Deuteronomy, tells you to love your Edomite brothers. But at the end of the day, I don't give a shit who the Israelites are. This is the same way I, I do I care who the real Chinese are, who the real Koreans are, who the real Vietnamese are. I don't care. Them people over there doing them people things. They doing them. Why do I care who those people are? I don't. Who the real Israelites are. Why? They don't matter. You see, that would only matter to me if 
I believed in this book and then it says those who bless Israel will be blessed those who hate Israel will be cursed or hated but since I don't believe in none of that mess it doesn't matter to me who the Israelites are when it comes to what's going on over there right now the only thing I care about are the non-combatants who are being slaughtered that's it I don't care about their political beliefs I don't care about the fact of whose land is it land who you know who land is it and why they say it's their land I don't care grace and peace everybody come on and join this live is about to be live got a very interesting topic that I um, I got from um, brother Berean something for us to talk about with all of the nonsense that the Hebrew Israelites from the one west uh, genre of, of things with all of the the, the, the crazy things that they teach and with all of the crazy things they have said over the years is there any hope for the camps like is there any hope like do the camps have hope at this moment like at this time like is it too late for them shout out to brother Berean TV for this topic like seriously can they be helped well, I know some of the newer ones uh, can be helped, but what about what about those those ones that've been in the camp for a long time? Let's talk. Let's talk. Join my life. Hey, young black king. Hey. Do you believe we Whoa, yeah. are the true chosen people of God? Get up. I just believe in Jesus, bro. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Shut your colonize. Colonize. Brainwash. Brainwash. Yeah. Brainwash. White oh, slave mastermind. Yeah, 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 yeah. His name is Yeshua. Look, I just want to spread love. You I... love the slave master, my brother. Yeah. You love his teaching. Show me the letter Woo. J before the 15th century. Young hey, the black light is green. Man, if you to... take off, I'm knock you through that windshield. Green. The Lord said to Moses, Green, Aaron, tell the Israelites. These are the animals. Are the animals you can eat? That's true word for your mind. Y'all, I officially know that I'm on the East Coast. I officially know that I'm on the East Coast. Like I know that I'm on the East Coast, but there's certain things that you see that make you know for sure you're on the East Coast. And one of them is, baby, why is the Hebrew Israelites out here on the corner? I know I done made it to the the East Coast when the Hebrew Israelites are standing out there on the corner yelling at traffic yelling at the passer buyers that was something that i only got to see on youtube but now that i live on the east coast baby i get to be accosted by the hebrew israelites in real life just like everybody else i've made it oh praise to yahweh by hashem yahweh shai double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone all right <clears throat> the typical behavior of a mundane Right, mundane. They laugh, they scoff at things that they have no understanding of. Uh, mundane. Mundane of this world, worldly, terrestrial. Worldly. So this doctrine, this ministry is spiritual. Is not of this realm, this world. So of course, mundanes also you no know, pertaining to you, Israelites first and foremost, right? That's of this world are always going to scoff and mock at anything that's beyond their comprehension. Okay, only a fool will laugh and scoff as something they have no understanding of. But then again, hey, it's cool. Because this this truth is only for the elect. That's that's all we're here for. To seek for the elect while while trying to get the blood off off of our hands, warning our nation in general while hoping to, you know, fish for the elect. That's all that matters, the elect. Two thirds you don't matter, man. You want to die here in America, plain and simple. Matthew uh, um, 12. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 12. 
verses 36 and 37, the KJV, red lettering. Lord Yahweh, Lord Yahweh Shai, speaking it. But I say unto you that every idle word, idle, right, useless, that every idle word that men shall speak, men pertain to mankind, general, men, women, children, young, old, right? That every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by your words, you should be justified, and by your words, you should be condemned. So there's this saying, right? Be careful what you say, because it can be used against you or for you, right? There's power to the tongue, the power that can either save you, protect you, justify you, or death, it can kill you. It can condemn you, punish you, use against you. There's a saying also, think before you speak. Think before you speak. Okay? There's another saying, if you don't have nothing good to say, then don't speak. Don't say nothing. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, right, mankind, people, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Condemned, right? To sentence someone to a particular punishment, especially death. Condemned. Let's see. Let's see. The action of condemning someone to a punishment sentencing let's see if i type this in right quick definition condemn all right definition number two right sentence someone to a pit to a particular punishment especially death all right death by pain you shall know to death by pain right so by thy by thy words you can either be justified right saved uh be counted as innocent or yahweh is going to condemn you he's going to sentence you to a particular punishment especially death by means in a very painful way all right so be careful what you say, especially towards the believers of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, the prophets, and on down to those little ones who sincerely believes. Um, let's see. Let's get this in the C B right quick. Second edger is just like quoted that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. You shall know the death. You shall know through death by pain. But I'm gonna get this in the common English Bible to see B. Check this out. Let me get this right quick. So this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, verses eleven through twelve. Common English Bible, CB. Those who despise my law, right? This teaching, this wisdom, this knowledge, this truth. Those who despise my law, so two thirds, for an example, those who you've seen in that clip, for an example. Those who despise my law while they were enjoying freedom and didn't come to their senses, to their senses, but continue to scoff 
right, make fun of. While the opportunity for a changed life was still open onto them, right, place of repentance. These people must acknowledge me, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in torment after death. So these people, these Hebrew Israelites, who are who are scoffing, right, at this doctrine, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, his prophets, his believers, are going to have to be condemned. They're going to be sentenced to a particular punishment, especially death. And that's where they will have no choice but to acknowledge Yahweh Bashmi Awashai in torment after death. All right. I'm going to get that in a KJV. Second Ezra's 9. Second Edris chapter 9 verse 11 the KJV Apocrypha and they that have loaded loaded right despise my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it the same must know it after death by pain. And this is what's coming to two thirds of our people. All right. Men, women, children, young and old. All right. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 4 to 7. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 4 through 7. And these are the words that the Lord. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, spake concerning Israel, the northern kingdom tribes, and concerning Judah, the southern kingdom tribes. All right, let's get the twelve tribes chart right quick. All right, Judah. Benjamin Levi, representing the Southern Kingdom, so-called American Blacks, so-called Negroes, African Americans, right? Benjamin, the so-called West Indian Blacks, right? So you're Jamaicans, for an example, right? You see the flags there. Tribe of Levi, the so-called Haitians. Then from Ephraim, which is the head tribe of the Northern Kingdom, pertaineth the so-called Hispanics, so-called Latinos, so-called Native American Indians, so-called Seminole Indians, right? So these are the words, and these are the words that the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai spake concerning the 12 tribes, concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, so ask yourself, ask yourself, ask ye now, and see whether a man doeth travail with a child. So ask yourself. Can a biological male give birth, right? Like a woman, right? Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? Like, I mean, as a woman in travail. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? So why is it that I see all these grown ass men? I see all these so-called men, these Israelite men, right? These, 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 these angry bird pig head ass looking motherfuckers. Like, like this dude right here on the right. He looked like one of those, those green uh, pigs from, uh, was it Angry Birds? It's a classic uh, game you can play. Let me look it up right quick. Angry 
birds, green pigs. Got the nurse and making mockery. Well, this nigga look like a fucking green angry bird pig. The fucking audacity. All right, and then you know the you, know, you Israelites in general, especially Eve with her saggy ass titties, with purple and purple and fake hair on top of that, but got the audacity to make to make mockery when I mean, your hair is fake and your titties are sagging and you ran through. All right, um, let's go over here right quick. Um, all right. Ask ye now and see whether a man doeth travail with a child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, on his stomach, as a woman in travail, like a woman that's pregnant, that's given birth, and all faces are turned into paleness. So this is the estate, mentally, spiritually, physically, that... The average uh, man out here are going to be in. They're going to be liking onto a pregnant woman that's giving birth, hollering, screaming, in deep fear, afraid, mentally conquered, ain't talking shit no more. All right, caved up. How much more you 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 so called women? All right. So check this out, verse seven. So like, yeah. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Trouble for rebellious Israelites. Two thirds, for an example. And you best believe there is a lot more than Israelite women of the troll tribes than there are Israelite men. That's why one is going to feel like the male population has been decimated because the Israelite women are really outnumber the Israelite men. So a lot of these Ray Rays, these Pookies, these Agar, these Carros, you know, these types of uh, Jakes are going to be put to death. All right. Because they're useless. All right. They're going to be put to death in the near future. And then, you know, these Eve mites are going to be out here going through it too in Jacob's trouble. You about, to, you about to see a lot of purple hair in the streets filled with blood. Purple hair, pink hair, blue hair, colorful hairs, fake hairs with cum brothers. All right. The BBLs ripped out of their asses. All right. These punk ass rabies and pookies and carros and, and, and agars out here too. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. He is pertaining to the elect, the remnant, the 144,000 elect men and the rest of the multitude that believes the other Israelite men. Israelite women, Israelite children, the house of mourning, the house of faith, are going to be delivered from the midst of Jacob's trouble while witnessing, seeing before their own eyes the reward of the wicked, even wicked Israelites being put to death. All right. Um, let's see. Let's get... Uh, this gives me NLT instead. Yeah, here we go. This is the book of 2 Chronicles. Chapter 36, verses 15 to 16. In the New Living Translation. The Lord Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. The power of their ancestors. Repeatedly sent his prophets to warn to warn them and the Lord has again sent and still is sending his prophets to warn Israelites why well continuing on for he had compassion 
on his people. The people of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh are Israelites, right? For the entire nation and his temple, the temple, right? The elect, for example, the house of David, right? That remnant. Verse 16, but the people mocked. These messengers, right? These prophets. Two thirds, for an example. But the people mocked these messengers of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and despised their words. They scoffed at the prophets until the Lord's anger, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai's anger. Could no longer be restrained And nothing could be done So We're at that phase right now Where the Lord The Lord's anger Is still being restrained And at some point He's no longer going to continue Restraining himself Especially when all the elect are finally sealed the Lord is going to open that door of mass, swift, quickly, unexplainable, terrifying judgments upon you scoffers, you mockers, you wicked Israelites. Men, women, maids, children, young, old, the Lord is going to whoop your ass like they say in the world. Keep fucking around. You won't find out. A lot of you Israelites are about to find out real soon. That the Lord is not messing around, man. Yes, the Lord is full of compassion. And the Lord is also very terrifying. All right? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 31. All right? The Lord is also known as King Death. All right? Alashadia. Terrible like demon like power, just just paraphrasing. Alright. Let's get this in the KJV real quick. The King James Virgin. And the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, power of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, the prophets, rising up B times right early, and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. So the house of David used to say, brothers and sisters, Lord willing, that's us. So the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, has been sending his prophets early, right? Ever since uh, King Masha was on the scenes, uh, Elder Yaikwab, Elder um, Ariyah, Right, and then you got Elder Pastor Hard that's on the scene still, Elder Pastor Kabar, Elder Pastor Aramla, Elder Pastor Racha, the elders, the bishops of Connecticut, Bishop Sakharan, and all the other elders, the bishops, apostles of Great Millstone, and men on down, all the way down to you know the, the, the newly brothers that's teaching the same doctrine, constantly warning and warning and warning. The Lord is showing his compassion, he's showing mercy. Real soon, the Lord is going to stop and he's, he's just going to start just destroying. Okay. Like they say, no talk, all action. Verse 16, but they, right, two thirds, but they mocked the messengers of God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and despised his words. They despised the rebuke. They despised how that this truth, it will make you be held accountable. And the Irish Israelites can't do that. All right. Uh, rebuke, warning, correction, this truth, right? And misused his prophets. And the prophets today are definitely being misused. Okay. Until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai arose against his people till there be no 
remedy. All right, that time is coming when the Lord is going to finally show no remedy, no mercy, no no remorse. And he's going to start killing Israelites. Right? It's wicked. And the thing about us as a nation, we're lacking on to the number of the sand of the seed. You can't count them. We're everywhere. So it's about to be a lot of deaths. I have a lot of Israelites dying, man. So repent, Yashala, before it's too late. Um, Isaiah 66 and 4. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 4. All right. I also will choose their delusions. And the Lord is already doing that right now. A lot of Israelites are under a heavy delusion and gross darkness. All right. The Lord doesn't want all Israel right now. All right. He's only dealing with his grapes, his plants, right? His, uh, his elect. All right. The aristocrat, the best of the best of his kind. Uh, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. So Yahweh Bashmi Shai, King Death, the judge, the power that controls everything, life and death, good times, bad times, evils, calamities, right? Salvation, damnation. The one that that knows all your fears. He's going to make a lot of you Israelites and of course the other nations Literally live your worst nightmare. All right, you about to live out, experience living a bad dream, but it's reality. Your worst fear is about to be brought to life. It's going to be used against you in the day of judgment. Because when I called, and the Lord is still calling by means of His prophets, for an example, none did answer. When I speak, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Right? So the Lord is going to kill. He's going to make Israelites that refuse his wise counsel to live out your worst fears, man. All right? Because we will enter a new fashion. In this eon, this world where it's going to go from being this repetitive, mundane lifestyle to being a very strange, spiritual, day-to-day -day walk, All right? The Lord is going to manifest a strange time, All right? That's going to be far beyond the comprehension of the wisest person of this mundane world. Even they won't be able to grasp their head around it. All right. It's about to get real spooky out here. All right. So repent, Israel. The Lord's not messing around, man. Um, let's see. Let's get uh, Ezekiel right quick. So this is going to be the same people. That's going to be seeking for answers from the same men who they've been scoffing and mocking at. When the Lord is finally jacking their ass up. But they ain't going to find no answer, no prophets. The Lord is going to make you suffer out there. Um, 7, 25, 26. This is the book of Ezekiel. Salakia. Yeah. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 25 and 26. And good news translation. Despair is coming. All right, Jacob's trouble, for an example. You will look for peace and never find it. Individuals like this. You will look for peace and never find it. You will be looking for a prophet for answers. The same men who even scoff in the mocking at. You ain't going to find it. Verse 26, one disaster will follow another and a steady stream of bad news will pour in. You will beg the prophets to reveal what they foresee. 
the priests will have nothing to teach the people, the famine of hearing the word. And the elders will have no advice to give. This is what's coming to you Israelites that scoffing and mocking at the warnings of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. Your days are numbered of being careless like a woman, being shatnan, prideful, arrogant, all right, ignorant, secure in a bad sense. The day will come known as mandatory accountability. Everyone on planet Earth will be held accountable for the works that they have done in the flesh, whether it be good, whether it be evil. And Lord willing, our works in the flesh through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Shai may be counted good to receive mercy, protection, salvation, while the rest of y'all are going to be witnessing living out your worst nightmare. Repent, Yahshua, before it's too late. Lord willing, the lesson is edifying, plain upon the tables. I'm going to close out by giving a much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kwadash, Shalom to the Lord's elect, the 144,000 elect men, and the rest of the multitude, you other Israelite men, Israelite women, Israelite children. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring and works. All right, Shalom. Abba Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kwadash, Baba Kwisha, Baba Kwisha, Baba Kwisha, Shalak, Rayam, Wa, Ainasham, Wa, Abadium, Wa, Haragium, Wa, Mashapatium. La ko adawamyam wa gawayam wa ayabyam nawa wa la pasadina texas wa la babo abad babo abad babo abad babo babo kwisha babo kwisha babo kwisha yahawa bahasham Yahweh Shai HaMashiach Bahasham Racha Kwadash Tawada Tamyad Tawab Ahman Adawan Ratsaza Shalom Israel